In this video, we'll show you how OceanOptics optical sensor technology allows you to monitor both oxygen and pH non-intrusively. We will be using the NeoFox phase measurement system to measure dissolved oxygen in both headspace and in our solution of red grape wine. We'll also use our USB 2000 Plus spectrometer to measure the pH content in the solution. Let's take a look at the components we'll be using for this experiment. For oxygen, we'll be using the NeoFox phase measurement system, red eye oxygen sensing patches, and a bifurcated fiber optic probe. For pH, we'll be using the USB 2000 Plus spectrometer, an LS1 tungsten light source, a bifurcated optical probe, and reflective pH patches. Our additional components will include a bio flask and a solution of fresh red grapes that have been mashed and left to sit for two days, as well as yeast and other nutrients. We've placed two oxygen patches inside of the bio flask to monitor both the headspace and the solution. A pH patch is also placed in the solution for monitoring the pH changes during fermentation. This process will be monitored for a period of over 60 hours. Now that you're familiar with the setup, let's discuss the technology. Ocean Optics optical oxygen sensors use phase measurement to determine oxygen content. We use fluorescence to measure the partial pressure of dissolved oxygen. When oxygen in the gas or liquid sample diffuses into the thin film coating of the red eye patch, it quenches the fluorescence. The degree of quenching correlates to the level of oxygen pressure. The red eye patch is a revolutionary oxygen sensing product designed specifically to measure oxygen. A simple yet effective design consists of a sensor coating formulation trapped into a sol gel matrix. This immobilizes and protects the formulation from the package contents. Available in sizes of just a few millimeters to several centimeters, the self-adhesive red eye patch can be easily integrated into any system. The NeoFox is an instrument platform for measurement of fluorescence lifetime and phase for oxygen sensing. A bifurcated optical fiber carries excitation light produced by a blue LED to the thin film coating of the red eye oxygen sensor. Fluorescence generated at the surface of the red eye patch is collected by the probe and carried by the optical fiber to the detector. Let's check the status of our oxygen and pH measurement after two hours of activity. We can clearly see that the oxygen sensor in our solution detected a quick drop in oxygen content as soon as the yeast cells and nutrients were added. Oxygen content in the headspace region has remained relatively steady. The pH sensor in solution dropped slightly as the oxygen decreased and carbon dioxide is released. Now let's take a look at the technology we're using for our pH measurement. Ocean Optics pH sensing technologies utilize a colorimetric pH indicator dye immobilized within the pores of a sol gel matrix. A bifurcated fiber carries the light from the light source to the sensor patch and then reflects back to the detector. As hydrogen ions diffuse in and out of the sensor patch, changes in absorbance at specific wavelengths are monitored and correlated to the pH level. Now let's check back in with our experiment. We can see that at approximately two and a half hours, the oxygen levels in our headspace begin to dissipate. Once the oxygen in the solution is completely quenched, the yeast cells and nutrients start consuming oxygen from the headspace. The oxygen in the headspace continues to be consumed until reaching 11 and a half hours in our setup. Finally, we can view the progress of the experiment over the entire 60-hour time period. So what have we learned? 
Ocean Optic sensor patches are able to monitor both oxygen and pH non-intrusively. This shows us that such technology can be a perfect alternative to electrodes and other invasive tools typically used for testing in the fermentation industry. For more information on Ocean Optics pH and oxygen sensing technologies, please visit us online at OceanOpticsSensors.com. For more helpful videos like this one, be sure to visit SpectroscopyTV.com or look for the Ocean Optics channel on your favorite video website.